What up Sailor Senshin? My name is Sailor Snubs. Welcome to my YouTube channel all about Sailor Moon news and merch reviews. I was a little bit behind on collecting petite chas, so recently I got a great opportunity from a reseller over on, I believe it was one of the Sailor Moon Facebook groups, but she was selling a whole bunch of them at retail prices, and I was like, yes, I will buy like six of those boxes, and then I bought them all and they got shipped, and then I also got a couple from Tokyo Otaku Mode. So I figured I would do a whole roundup and an unboxing of all the ones that I got, and I'm pretty sure I have almost every single one except for like maybe two or three different ones at this point in time. So I think I almost have all of them. So let's go ahead and get started with this first box, which is from Tokyo Otaku Mode. I am pretty sure that this one is a... Ah, yes, this is the ice cream, or it's the candy land, Petite Chara Land, and they are all sitting on pieces of candy, like gumdrops or something like that. Okay, let's go ahead and open it. The thing about all of these is that none of them are current petite charos, but you can usually find them on like Tokyo Otaku Mode. Sometimes they refill their inventory. You can also find them on eBay, and then sometimes you can find them at like me. I, I found some of these at a local uh, comic book store. So you can get lucky and still find these at real retail prices. None of these are like super limited edition or anything, except for maybe the wedding edition. That one's pretty fancy. Uh, oh, and the Outer Scouts. That one might be a little bit fancy, but I think the other ones you can find at retail. Okay, so this one comes with six different boxes inside of it. I don't know if each box has all of the characters. There are five Inner Senshi and then Tuxedo Mask, so it should be each of the different uh, Sailor Moon characters, hopefully, in this box. They each come in their own little blind box. So this is one of those groups that you would probably find at a store sold as blind boxes that you can't check before. Uh, but if you buy the whole box, I'm pretty sure you're supposed to get all six. I love opening blind boxes. It's so fun. Okay. So far we have Moon, Mercury, and or Moon, Jupiter, and Mars. I'm not going to keep these anyway. Tuxedo Mask. Mercury. So who's left? Venus. You can tell I'm not going to keep these boxes. And we have Venus! So we got all of them. Okay. So, just looking at these in the packaging, I do have to put them together, which is going to take a little bit of time, but each of them is sitting on their own little piece of candy, uh, which is very cute. They don't have the same kind of stands as other Petite Chara's, uh, probably because this is from a different line called Petite Chara Land. And um, I like the little gumdrops. Each of them does look like an edible, which is really cute. They have a little bit of shiny material on, on them, like uh, Sailor Jupiter has shiny little hair. Hair picks or whatever you want to call them. Tuxedo Mask has a shiny rose. He does not have eyeballs underneath his eyeglasses. It doesn't look like it. Oh wait, maybe he does. And Sailor Moon's wand is also pretty shiny. Those are cute. Yeah, these are definitely like a different type of line than the other Petite Charas, but it's very cute and I think they will go along quite nicely with the rest of my collection. Okay, so the next one I got is also different from the regular Petite Chara, Chara line. Petite Chara line. I can talk. This one is called the Ocha Tomo. Ocha is tea in Japanese, so Ocha Tomo series Sailor Moon. And it comes with a night and day set. Uh, I s believe that you're supposed to get all six in the box, and there might be extras. Um, and it comes with, let's see, there's Princess Serenity, there's Prince Endymion, there's Black Lady, Prince Diamond, uh, Princess Small Lady Serenity, and then Luna. I already have Luna downstairs. I bought her when I went to Japan a while back. She was just like a single one at one of those stores in Akihabara, which... I spent way too much money on, to be honest, because I was really excited. I found the Sailor Moon thing and I was like, oh my god, it's so rare! And then I purchased it before I knew better. Now I know better. Okay, so there are eight boxes in here, which does tell me I probably have extras. So let's find out who's in here. Who we got? Oh, the box opens so much easier. Okay, we have Princess Serenity. Never mind, that box did not open easier. <laughs> Uh, Prince Diamond, Small Lady, of course, Luna, another S Princess Serenity, another Small Lady, okay, we got Prince Endymion, 
Please be Black Lady. I don't have her yet. Hooray! Okay, cool. So we do have two extras, but the rest of them are each and every one of the set. So these sets are really, really cute. Uh, the way they work is they can either sit or hang off of your cup. Uh, the way I have positioned these is the ridge on the top of my computer monitor. There's enough room for these to sit or to hang off of. So I have Luna hanging off of my computer monitor in my, uh, my computer room. So these I will probably end up doing the same thing with. I'll probably stick them on my computer monitor. If they are not the hanging type, like she hangs, so I could stick her on there. If they don't hang, I will probably not be able to set them on there. I'll probably have to find another place for them. But they are supposed to sit on your cup while you're like, you know, having your tea. It's very cute. Now they do come with their own little stands if you want to just display them back here. But since I'm going to be using them on my monitor, I probably won't use the stands. And I think since I have extras, I'll probably add these to a future giveaway if anybody is interested. So let me know if you're interested and if you want me to do a little giveaway of Small Lady and Princess Serenity. Okay, now we have the Pretty pretty Guardian Sailor Moon Happy Wedding Petite Chata set. So this set has a very similar stand to the one that is just for King Endymion and Neo Queen Serenity, uh, but this one is white as opposed to pink. I believe it also comes with a Luna and Artemis, but I'm not sure on that. So let's go ahead and open it and find out. It does come with a Luna and Artemis. They're so cute. And it comes with a postcard. Wow. We, that's so cute. I love Japanese translations to English. We have just married instead of just like, we're married. Oh, that's a really cute postcard. I like that a lot. It has a uh, Usagi and of course Mamoru and they are dressed in their wedding outfits. So this one comes with a white stand. First we have Usagi and she does have her translucent hair again or transparent down at the bottoms. She also has a really pretty iridescent dress and outfit on. Uh, she has a really cute bouquet and she's got some roses and a cute little decoration in her hair. So very adorable. And then we have Mamo-chan. Uh, Mamoru has Oh, he's holding his gloves in his hand. That's really cute. And then he has a really nice looking khaki outfit. Uh, very similar to what my husband wore on our wedding day as well. So I'm going to go ahead and put them on their stand. There we go. As with other ones, Usagi does stand on her own. So you don't need to use any kind of uh, little stand for her. Uh, she doesn't have a hole in the back of her head to mount her anyway, so you would have to stand her based on her dress. We do have a little teeny tiny Luna in Artemis as well, and both of them have, instead of a regular collar, they both have uh, like cute little flowers as a collar, and that's so cute. I love it. They look adorable. All right, so the next one that I have, uh, this one I actually already have back here, but I was missing one of the characters, and... Um, Instead of buying a fake one from China, a bootleg, I decided to go ahead and get the full set and then I would either give away or resell the extras that I had. But I was missing Jupiter and the reseller was selling this at a very inexpensive price. So I decided to go ahead and purchase this one just so I could get Jupiter. <laughs> ah, the life of being a collector. You buy things just for one of the things. Okay, so here's the one that I was missing, Jupiter. Uh, the rest of them, these are the school clothes outfits, uh, Petite Charta, and it's like a limited edition. The rest of them have their school outfits on as well as Makoto, and um, each of them has the outfits from the original series, which is very cute. So now I have Makoto to add to the rest of them. She's so adorable. Uh, but yeah, they have their school clothes on. They came with Art Artemis. Artemis is also included in this little package right here. And he has his own little stand. Usagi is holding Luna, and that's why you don't get an additional Luna in this package. And the odd one out would be, well, Mamoru's included, so he has his school uniform on, but we also have uh, Rei, who does not have her school uniform on, which is a little odd. Instead, they put her in her Shrine Maiden outfit with a little broom that she's holding. So I'm gonna leave the rest of these in the package since I don't want to open them, especially if I will be 
uh, reselling them or something like that. And I'm gonna go ahead and set these to the side. Okay, so next one we have is the Petite Chara Pretty Guardian Sailor Moon School Life Volume 2 Limited Edition. So these are the Outer Senshi School Life Uniform versions. This one did not have a cardboard cover like the original School Life Edition one did. It probably came with one, but I didn't get it with mine because this was a reseller's. Uh, but it looks like everything else is already in the package. Looks like she never used the display stands. So I'll easily be able to add these to my display behind me so you can see them in future videos. And look at that, we have a teeny tiny Diana. She's so cute. And she has little teeny tiny pins on the bottom of her feet so that you can stick her in this little crescent moon display stand. Okay, so I'll show you a little bit about each of these different characters. So first, of course, we have Diana who is teeny tiny and she is very cute and gray and her paint looks really good and she's on a little crescent display stand then with her we have of course chibi moon little small lady and uh, she's got some nice ombre effect going on with her hair mine has a few different uh paint flaws on her which is kind of disappointing since i got this at retail price uh, if there's paint flaws i would expect a discount for something like that um, but this seems to be an ongoing issue with mega house branding a lot of times you will find different characters who have quite a few paint flaws like she does uh, but she is very cute she's showing a little peace sign and she's looks like she's doing a little skip so that's adorable and then we have setsuna and she is in that very pretty business uniform that she wears uh, when you first see her in the show as Setsuna. Uh, her hair is up in a little bun, of course, and she has the matching stand. And she looks great. It looks like there's no issues with her paint. Michiru and Haruka both look awesome. They are both in their school uniforms as usual, and they both look really great. Michiru's hair is very, very pretty, and she's got the little headband in her hair, and they have the matching outfits, super cute. And of course, Hotaru also has the same school outfit as Michiru does. Um, strangely, her school skirt has a little bit of a defect at the very bottom. It looks like there's some additional plastic at the bottom of it, but I wonder if I can just like rip that off. I can probably just rip it off and it'll be fine because it's not supposed to be there, but she looks great. No other flaws with her. And of course, lastly, we have Usagi who's being a child as usual, which is one of my favorite things and why I relate to her so very much because I like being a child, but she's holding an ice cream, sticking her tongue out. Very similar to uh, the Yukata version of Small Lady, so that's really cute as well. Okay, so I went ahead and put that one aside, and I think the next one I'm gonna open will be uh, the Yukata Special of the Inner Sailor Senshi. So I recently also got the Yukata Special of the Outer Sailor Senshi, so this is going to be the final one for that little special edition uh, pairing. I do have a previous version of the Yukata series, but those are not the special edition ones, so these are the fancy ones. So I'll go ahead and open these. Now the difference between those and this one, I believe is that there's a little bit more of shiny material on these outfits, the Yukatas, and the stands are different and the outfits have different colors, and that's about it. You can tell that my box did get a little bit squished, but that's okay, it's not a big concern since I usually take my items out of the box. As long as the items aren't damaged, I'm okay with it. Now again, none of these are new. If I did have new petite charas, I would do a separate video for those. Uh, that's why I'm doing just a big video roundup of all of these since I was like slowly collecting the back haul of all of them. Well, I'm just gonna leave that there. I wish that they didn't stick each of the stands in these separate little teeny tiny bags because they're a real pain in the butt to open, but I understand why they do it. It's because they don't want you to lose the pieces, especially since these pieces are kind of hard to come by, but eh, they're just annoying. It's more plastic. I don't even know if you can recycle this kind of plastic. Sometimes it's easy to get Usagi and Small Lady confused as far as their color scheme stand goes because usually one is hot pink and the other is light pink. Uh, so I generally try to base it on the color of their outfit, whatever they're wearing for these petite chara. All right, so going through these, first off we have Usagi and Small Lady. Both of them look adorable. They both have shiny obis on their yukatas and they both wear pink, very cute. Then we have Amy and Ray. 
They are both wearing the color schemes that are kind of based off of their senshi uniforms as well. And they both have cute little flowers in their hair and they both look adorable. And they also have shiny obis as well. Lastly, we have Makoto and Eno Minako. And both of these also have the sh shiny obis, which is an ongoing trend here. I love Minako's hair because she has the cute little Artemis barrette in her hair, as well as her gigantic bow. It is very touching, very, very cute. And then Makoto looks adorable with her cotton candy. So sweet, I love these. They're adorable. The Yukata specials are some of my favorite petite charas, so I'm really glad that I was able to get these. All right, moving on, we only have two boxes left. Thank God, I'm almost done. Uh, the first one I will do, I'll do the inner senshi and then I'll do the outer senshi. So this is the glitter edition of the Sailor Senshi in their regular uniforms. I decided since there's so many different versions of the girls in their uniforms that I was just going to collect the ones that are glitters. So this is the glitter edition. And then we also have the glitter edition of the outer senshi. The interesting thing with this is that even though you get a full box, and I believe you get each character in these boxes, there's two versions of each of the characters. So if I wanted to, I could collect each of the versions, but really the biggest difference is like, in one, they might have both of their eyes open, in the other version, they are winking. And so it doesn't really make that big of a difference to me. While I do think that in some cases, they do look really cute when they're winking, in other stances, I'm just like, eh, it doesn't make a difference. As long as I get one of each, I don't care if she's winking or not. So let's go ahead and open these, starting with the glitters of the inners. Okay, so these are another grouping that I will have to put together. So I'll go ahead and do that and show you what they look like in some close-up videos. But I will start with, let's start with Sailor Moon on this one. So Sailor Moon, I got the winking version. She's very cute. And she has a super shiny and glittery stand and her hair is hecka glittery, which is very, very cool. They say glittery, but it's really just like an iridescence sheen to them. Uh, she also has a cute little Luna. So now I have Luna Artemis and Diana on separate stands, which is really cool. Then we have, let's move on to Rick Tuxedo Mask go. Then we have Tuxedo Mask, and this is the Tuxedo Mask version with his mask on. There is also, there is also a version with his mask off. He also has the iridescence going on with his hair and his cape and his flower, very cute. And he has the super glittery purple stand too. I like his stand, it's very pretty. The rest of the scouts look pretty cool. All of them have the really sparkly stands and all of them have their very iridescent colored hair. And oh, look, there's also an Artemis. So now I have two Artemises. I have this one and the one that came with the School Life edition. So yay, there's so many Artemis in my life. So I'll get around to opening those. And then last but not least, we have the glitter edition of the outers. And this is it for all of my petite shadows. I hope I don't have to buy any for a very long time. I say have to as if like I'm being forced to, but the reality is like, I just want them all. They're like Pokemon. Gotta collect them all. Gotta collect all the petite shadows. So this one also comes with six blind bags in the box. Okay, so with these ones, you can either get Uranus, Super Sailor Moon, and Super Sailor Chibi Moon with their eyes winking or their eyes open. Neptune will either come with her eyes open or her eyes completely shut. And then we have Pluto and Saturn, and their only difference is that their eyebrows look a little different, and that's it. So again, I don't really care which ones I get. Chibi Moon and Super Sailor Moon. They look really cool. I love their outfits. Super Sailor Moon is one of my favorite versions of Sailor Moon. I love the iridescent hair on these and the stands. They both match. We also have a Luna P ball here, which is very cool and is definitely going to get lost. Then we have Sailor Saturn, of course. Sailor Uranus, and her eyes are both open. Sailor Pluto, and she looks like she's smiling. And Sailor Neptune, and both of her eyes are open. So all of their eyes are open on this version, while the other version I got, some of them were winking. Cute, so I'm gonna go ahead and rip these open as well and show you some close-ups. Okay, so that is all of my petite chadas, or what my cats would make you believe, all of their brand new cat toys. I definitely need to invest in some kind of stands for these because I have run out of room for petite chadas. I don't have anywhere else that I could put these. 
uh, my entire shelf is full of them at the top and on this row and this row and the bottom row I'm getting to the purses all the time on that bottom row so I don't really want to put them down there because I'll knock them over all the time so I think that I really need to invest in one of those nice stands where you put like I don't know collector coins or something and it has an actual glass piece over it or a plastic piece over it so that way they'll always be protected so let me know what you think and if one of these versions of petite chattas is your favorite i would love to know in the comments below and don't forget to subscribe and like if you enjoyed my video my name is sailor snubs don't forget to keep watching because i have a lot of videos coming out so make sure to stay tuned for some more awesome sailor moon unboxings Jenny.